The next topic is one of my favorite ones, that is shade communication. There are many factors that determine a shade and there's, um, there, there's chroma, intensity, opalescency, value, characterizations. It is extremely difficult and in our profession we have so many components that go into play when we restore patients and the patients get more and more demanding the, these days. So we need to, need to find a solution for all these problems because if you talk to somebody and you try to describe shade to them, mm -hmm. what is shade? Usually they say A2. A2 is shade, right? <laughs> A2 is a shade. All the time. But, but, but shade is much more complicated mm. than just an A2 or mm. a number on the shade tab. It is chroma. And chroma is the intensity of the color. It is hue, which is a color. Hue is yellow, green, blue. That is hue. Mm -hmm. Chroma is the intensity of this green and blue. And we have value, and many people they don't understand value. They 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 heard about it, but then it's actually value is the most important part when you are storing a single central. Mm -hmm. You you can get the hue right, you can get the chroma right. If the tooth is a little bit too dark or a little bit too light, it doesn't match. Yeah. The patient will say that does not match, and. That is the most important part and many doctors, they don't know how to determine value. And many technicians, they don't even know how to determine value or how to even know the reason why a value is low or why a value is, is high. For example, if you use too much translucency, it lowers yeah, the value. That's right. If you use an opaque ingot, it raises the value. It's all about the reflective of light, how much light goes into the crown and how much light is getting reflected. The more it's getting reflected, the higher the value, the more it's going into and it's not getting reflected, the lower the value. Mm -hmm. That determines translucency. I, I tell you a funny story, Dennis. I showed the slide at a convention. And we were talking about color blindness, uh -huh. right? This is, right. Color, this is a color blind test. And we said, do you, do you see the numbers on this? Really? Screen. And some dentist in the back said, which number? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh oh that's what I thought. Because 8% of men are color blind. And the older they become, the worse it gets. 0.5% of women are colorblind. That right. explains why so many assistants are taking the shade in the office. Right. Mm -hmm. And the doctors, especially the older ones, everything is A2, everything is D2, everything is the same color because they're colorblind and they don't even know it. So, and the, the human eye can easily be tricked in seeing different colors just by, uh, just by changing the surrounding just by changing the surrounding color, just by changing huh. the surrounding walls, lipstick, makeup. Look at these pictures, it's all the same smile, different lipstick and you, you see that the teeth appear differently. For instance, in the upper left, they appear a little bit lighter than on the lower right, for yeah, example. They do. Yeah. So the, the eye can easily be tricked. And also when we talk about sunlight, because sunlight is the natural source of light. Mm -hmm. And I was working in San Francisco. I was working in, in a big medical building, 450 Sutter, only dentists in there. And they're facing all directions. They're facing the bay, they're facing downtown, they're facing the peninsula. And what I noticed when I took the shades is that all these um, offices have different lighting. And not only do they have different lighting, they have different lighting during the day, That's which true. makes it even difficult. So you might take a different shade in the morning than you take in the evening just because of the lighting. And 
that can influence your, your shade taking. Another example is I was sitting in a dentist's chair. I got my number, I, I, I don't know dentist. <laughs> I, I don't know the American system, I, I'm from Germany. Um, <laughs> now, we call it number three. Um, I was sitting in dental chair and um, the doctor was prepping my teeth and I was sitting there for an hour, right? We did the build up and I was sitting there for a while. So you can imagine that the teeth are dehydrating by, the, by this time. So, but not only were they dehydrating, no, she took her overhead light, Ooh. she put it in my face and I could feel the heat of the lamp in my face and she said, Mm. And now we take the shade. And oh boy. And I said, uh, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, I will take the shade myself. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, but you can see that all this different lighting will affect, like fluorescent light, LED light. All exactly. these lights yeah. will affect the color. So the question is, Dennis, can you trust your eyes? That's the question. So we were talking about value. We were talking about um, lightness, black and white, mm -hmm. gray. And the mouth creates some shadows because of the um, cheeks, because of teeth in the way. And you can see in this picture, you can see A and B, and you, you can clearly see that B it's a little bit lighter than A, but in reality... It looks much lighter. Oh my goodness. It is the same. So imagine, imagine um, comparing this to the mouth. You have one tooth and you're holding the shade tab next to it. So now you, your, your tooth is a little bit in the shadow and your shade tab is in the light. So Dennis, when we go to the next point and when we want to determine the hue, when we want to determine the color, as many people say in the mouth, you can see in this picture on the lower tile you have clearly orange, on the upper you have brown. But now look at this. These oh are my. both the same. So if you compare this to the mouth again, the tooth is in the shadow, the shade happens in the light, you will pick the wrong shade, for sure. You will pick the wrong shade. So we want to we wanna take the mystery and we want to take um, the guesswork out of shade selection because in the end we want to have the new crown blend in to the new or in the old environment. And when we look at an conventional shade taking method. This can be lengthy, right? We determine the shade at the first be, before, the t before the teeth dehydrating. We're going to use natural light, not direct in the sunlight. Then we're going to drape the patient. Um, we remove the lipstick. Um, we're going to um, get rid of all the different colors then that they're wearing. Um, we're going to access the value of the tooth first and with the 3D master shade guide you can do it by splinting a little bit and you glance back and forth and you get the hue, you get the chroma. Um, I was using, I had a big um, pencils with different colors and I was drawing a shade map and I, I went with a patient outside and um, I went in different lighting, in, in a different room, so I went outside the door. I made the teeth red, I made the shade tabs red, I, I, I made everything in different, compared in different lip position as they spoke, different artificial lighting, different things and different angles from every different position. And I had patients in there for up to 20 minutes. So we said, there must be something better. There must be something quicker than that. So we developed together with Shade Wave, MicroShade, the dental shade matching software. And all you need is one shade tab. And I actually brought one 
with me. Dennis gave me one. And all you need is you need to put one additional shade tab. It has a little bit of a shade tab on here, which is an A2. And you put your, your choice in there. I, right. always, I always say <coughs> A4, so it's consistent. And I always know I have an A4 in here because I cannot really see it in this position. So, and with this shade tab, I'm going to take my photo of the shade. And this shade tab is replacing all common shade tabs, Vida, 3D Master, ND Stump Shades, Gingival, different ceramics, different porcelains. It's all going to be replaced only with this shade tab. So, Carson, you're saying in, uh, that you don't necessarily have to pick the shade of the patient's tooth. Mm -hmm. You put it. You put the A4 in there as, I just, I as just, a reference point. I just right? tell everybody leave mm -hmm. the A4 in there. Okay. Don't take it out. And because if they mm -hmm. if they start switching shade tabs in here, if, if they taking the A4 out and taking in one picture as an A2, mm -hmm. in one picture as an A1, in one picture as a D3, and they forget to tell you mm -hmm. what shade tab it is. Then you're on the phone, and oh, doctor, which shade tab did you put in there? What is this? Uh, I don't know what it is. And then you're distracting the doctor, okay? So I tell them, leave an A4 in there. I know it's an A4, they know it's an A4. I can move forward with the case. Okay, uh, may I, I'll go ahead and just say a little bit about, a little bit about Shade Wave. Uh, so let me have that uh, shade reference. So. What we're doing is you put the shade reference underneath the tooth that you want to be matched. The shade reference is black, white, and gray, as you can see. It has, as Carson said, it has the other shade tab on there, which is a real porcelain A2. Okay? And you do need to slide in a second shade tab. You could make it, have it match the tooth, or as Carson said, you could put just a, a consistent shade tab in there, like a, a D3, or you put an A4. You put this next to the tooth. Uh, shade Wave is web-based, and basically it allows the user to sample the shade tab. So you basically you click on the different points. It color corrects the shade reference, and when the shade reference gets color corrected, the entire picture gets color corrected. So how do you use MicroShade in the office? MicroShade powered by ShadeWave. How do you use it in the office? It's very simple. The doctor takes a photo okay. with a shade tab, and like Dennis said, is holding it under the teeth, under the tooth. In this case, um, I'm holding it next to it, and the shade reference next to the tooth. I'm holding the shade wave tab in a certain angle so that it doesn't reflect the light and I'm minimizing the reflection on my tooth that is getting the shade taking off. So in this case I have a little bit of reflection on the ginger oil. You cannot avoid reflection 100%. It, it doesn't work because of the nature of the tooth. You, you will have reflection somewhere. But you want to minimize reflection in the middle of the tooth where you take the shade. Mm. So what are the benefits for the doctor, you would say? The benefits are it saves time in shade taking. And when you save time, you, you save some money. You have fewer remakes for shade adjustments and fewer adjustments, especially by doing single centrals, and you eliminate all the surrounding colors that we talked about, uh, the lipstick, the different walls, the different lightings, all this is getting eliminated because the picture is getting color corrected in the software. Mm. If you want to know more about this exciting technology, just give Micro Dental or Modern Dental a call and they will give you all the information that you need. Or call Shadewave directly. I'm working with this technology for three years now, and it not only helped it my customers, but also the patients. Thank you, Dennis, for coming. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for watching, and I hope I see you soon. And thank all of you viewers for watching. <laughs>